Hey guys, Little Actor here. So I thought I'm going to upload a film that I did a while ago called The Tao of the Astrological Voyager. Yes or no, that's a nice short title. So this film I made a number of years ago as I mentioned and it was an extension upon some of the other films that I would made before YouTube took off and before, you know, video was what it was. Um, I actually had sold this, this uh, video on um, Amazon.com and it was packaged with another film called uh, Astrology Today which was more of a documentary. So I, you know, got into independent filmmaking um, and basically I made the Kung Fu Action Ather series which was a, a take and parody of the old, uh, you know, Chinese Kung Fu films with the dub voices and the moving uh, mouths and people seemed to really like that. Um, this was before the word viral really had been invented. Um, and so I wanted to actually embrace a new challenge and want to create a longer film. Those films that I had made, the Kung Fu Action Athletes series, were anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. And so I decided to uh, create something uh, that also featured the theme of astrology, which is something that I was very passionate about. And uh, there, hadn't, uh, there hadn't been very many theatrical films that I knew of at the time that actually featured um, the subject of astrology. There's documentaries out there, there was books out there, but this was something that, that I thought which was new. So when I say astrology, most people when they think about astrology, they think about going to the newspaper and reading their sun sign, their Virgo, Gemini, and hearing what their future foretells for the day, which is astrology, but it's a very watered down, the pop culture version of astrology, the ancient art of astrology, which has been uh, around for hundreds of, of years, um, you know, before Christ. And, and it's one of the, the oldest uh, arts, and it's a, it's a very deep art of spirituality, which is uh, I take very seriously in my life. And basically, you know, it has a much more complex layer than what you would see in the newspapers and, and, and magazines, uh, such that, you know, uh, the basic premise is that it's done on an individual time of birth, um, city of birth, year of birth, and everyone has their individual horoscope, so everyone does have a little bit of Leo, Gemini, uh, Scorpio and all these different areas, but they are expressed in different parts of their personality, whether it be their subconscious side, how they appear to others, um, you know, how they output that energy into their work. So it's much more complex than, than that. But I'm glad that at least the pop culture of astrology makes people aware of what astrology is. Anyhow, I, I digress upon that subject. So uh, this was the first film that I, that, that I knew of that really featured the subject of astrology, uh, you know, in, in more of a dramatical theatrical format and I wanted to take that, that challenge and, and do a film that was actually an hour long which, which was a bit of a challenge for, for myself. So uh, it's meant to be quirky, it's meant to be not taken seriously and um, it's meant to be you know just just off the wall at times but at the same time still having some serious underlying content when you really want to read in between those lines. So you know when I watch you know this film over again. There was a number of things that I would have done, um, you know, through through time and experience, uh, much differently now. For one, I would have actually probably stuck to short films. I think I really wanted the challenge of doing a longer film, but I think a short film would have been much more effective. Uh, and you know, basically, I did spread myself out uh, rather thin. This actually took me over a year to to develop this. Um, so more than a year, actually, when you talk about the, the pre-planning phase, play phase, and all that sort of stuff. Ooh, sorry, I got tongue-tied there. Um, and the second part of that would be, um, I think I had too many themes going here. I, I mean, I extended upon the whole, you know, Kung Fu Action Ather series, which had all the, the dub voices and uh, people sort of moving their mouth and, 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 you know, the voice being out of sync. But I, I think that confused things and, and, and also taking out the martial arts aspect because uh, I see the relationship between philosophical martial arts when, when you're, you know, related to Taoism and uh, Qi or Qi uh, or the universal spirit and things like that, but people who are not really into that subject might not see those those relationships. So I think I probably confuse the themes a little bit. So uh, in any case, you know, this film is meant to be enjoyed and, and at the same time hopefully learn some content about things about astrology and Eastern philosophy, which astrology melds very well with, with Eastern philosophy. Uh, I would encourage you, if you enjoy it, please share it. So. Uh, enjoy the film, Dow the Astrological Voyager.
Mr. Swallows? Mr. Swallows, are you listening to me? Sorry, I was, uh, just considering the effects of Neptune's education upon your current circumstances. What do you think? No, no, it's, uh, passed for some time. So I don't think it's a factor. See, the thing is, Mr. Swallows, Bruno just doesn't listen to me. I mean, to him, I'm just invisible. And he's so self-absorbed. All the time for him, it's just all about me, me, me. <sighs> What's the relationship horoscope have to say about this? Astrology can only take you so far, Miss Sinclair. The real answer lies within yourself. Astrology is a tool to gain a deeper understanding of yourself and your personal motives. So... Is that a good thing? I don't know. I read that somewhere. By the sound of this. Oh. But I really love him. Why doesn't he love me? I mean, why doesn't he care? And why do you continue to be in that relationship? Why are you accepting a standard of behavior? Do you think you can change it? Well, I don't know. I mean, if I do look at your horoscope, I can see that Neptune and Venus are in a great deal of tension. So you have a great deal of potential for disillusionment when it comes to relationships. In addition, with Venus and Scorpio, there's a great deal of intensity. I think that as a result, of your Venus and Neptune square, you're projecting your ideal on Bruno. In Jungian psychology, this is known as the Anima-Animus Principle. We project our ideal image on our partner subconsciously, often confusing them with the illusion we want to see. What? Well, I don't know who he is. I don't even know who I am. I don't know what to do here.
that shirt! Yeah, it uh, highlights your skin so pointedly. <laughs> My name is Jupiter. If you're smart, you will realize I'm a friend. Why do I sound like I'm in a kung fu movie? You are in a kung fu movie. This is the world you have created. Come, we must talk where it's safe. I will summon a dream storm to thwart these underlings. How could you let him get away? No matter, he cannot escape the wrath of the Mind Mafia. Wait! Alright, you might tell me what the hell's going on here. Where am I? Where's this place? Patience, my friend. Good things come to those who wait. First, you must learn to temper that hot anger within you. It might end up destroying- Listen, you. buddy. I don't have time for that. All I know is a moment ago, ten guys were hunting me down trying to kill me. And however I got here, I gotta get out of here fast. Okay. I'll give you answers. On one condition. You must fight me. What? You're crazy. I didn't come here to fight. I didn't even choose to be here in the first place. Life doesn't always present ideal choices. Now you must learn to make the best and move with circumstances. Now fight! You're nuts. I'm out of here.
What do you want from me? I'm trying to free your mind. <laughs> oh, I know Kung Fu. Show me. But you still have yet to master the art of awareness. This world is your mind, Apollo. And you've come into this world by your own inclination. You have entered a state of Samadhi, the linking of your consciousness with the universal consciousness. This is your astral body, the body that travels to your dream world every night when you sleep and dream. Your real body remains safely in your living room. To others it would appear that your mind and body are comfortably sleeping. However, your mind cannot complete its union with universal consciousness. It is in a state of internal tension. In order for you to grow to higher levels of enlightenment, you must relieve your mental oppositions and tensions. All the entities within this world are symbols of your mind. Even me, I am you. A symbol that reflects aspects of your personality. We are products of your imagination. Although you have been diligent in your search for enlightenment and higher spiritual truth, you are not a master of your mind yet. And that is why this world is in disharmony. You are not in control of all the forces within you. Yet this is the challenge to every human being. How is it possible I can be free of this disharmony? Long ago, there was unity and harmony. From the birth of the mother there was harmony, that was your natural state. When you were born you were one with yourself and all the natural forces. Ego consciousness which creates separateness did not exist. Opposition and polarities have occurred with all the varying natures and forces within yourself. You are indeed undergoing a transformation. Each one of the elements you meet in this life represents the different aspects of humankind and personality. As Jupiter, I represent your spiritual and philosophical beliefs and your desire for growth. That box you carry with you, it is a reflection of the harmony in the astral world. This is known as the music of the spheres. Life is like a well-orchestrated band. The proper coordination of independent forces can work harmoniously. The contrasting forces working on their own accord create dissonance. And if I can't? The tension in your mind will override. You will be lost in insanity and lost in your own world forever. <laughs> Who dares to challenge the Great Mars? My name is Apollo. I am here to request for you to join the Benefit Conjunction. Fool! Mars needs nobody. You are not invincible, Mars. The Malefics are joining force and destroying all those who oppose them. I am invincible. Come to me, foolish one. I'll show you so.
you have made Mars bleed. Mars never bleeds. I will make you pay for that. When I'm through with you, I will eat your soul. Your talk is cheap. Come show me what you really mean. You have seen nothing yet, kid. Do not underestimate me. You forget, I am the very embodiment of fire. Nothing can be done alone. What is the chance of the one against the forces of the many? What took you so long? He knew it was coming. So, I suppose you want me to join the conjunction? Will you have been sent? I know, Jupiter has sent you. I wish you would. Do that? Sorry, I'm often too quick for most. Jupiter is always quick to think all are convinced of the righteousness of his cause. Do you know why you're really here? Well, through that portal, and I was transferred through that door. No. Why do you think you are here, in the astral world? Because I was meditating You've and... become lost in your own world, Apollo. Haven't you become at odds with conventional living? Do you feel the rest of the world understands you? Does it matter what others think? The development of your mind moves faster than your ego consciousness can handle. Why do you waste your time when many would consider your efforts as an astrologer fruitless? Why waste your time when you could pour forth your energies into material pursuits? All that I gain materialistically will only cause suffering in the end. They are illusions of the mind. Dependency and attachment will only cause eventual suffering when they are withdrawn. Better to strengthen the mind and find happiness through the development of the self. How do you know your truth is the truth? How do you know it is not you whom are living the illusion? When you dream and travel to the astral world each night, aren't you just as convinced what you see is real? One will never know. Man is always living on faith. However, this is not what's been handed to me by virtue of convention. From constant soul searching and internalizing, I am reaching for true knowledge. I see beauty in the world of ideas. And that idea is a realization of the Tao's creation, the beauty that lies before us that we fail to notice and appreciate. Whom will understand when you become lost in this world of ideas? Is it not better to keep acceptance? Acceptance? Ignorance may be comforting, but I'd rather not hide behind a false sheet of security. I'd rather obtain true security through knowledge. The further you've come to me, the further you are losing yourself and moving away from ego consciousness into the depths of the unconscious. The further you travel in the astral world, the further you cannot turn back. You may never come out. You've chosen this path to look into the abyss. If I fall in the world as it appears, nothing would make sense to me. Once one has turned his eyes away from the cave, he can never look back. I will never know or be sure of the truth. A man's representation is always based on faith. I'm breaking the confines and looking within myself. Life is what we make it. It doesn't need to mean anything. But better to have a better representation of the things we see before us. You are flowering. Unlocking yourself as your own gem. You are realizing your strengths and your advantages. And at the same time your advantages are your weaknesses. On your path to self-realization. Very well. Then I bid to join the conjunction. Your 
faith is strong and inspiring. You gotta be careful. He's got quite the temper, and he can get your temper going too. Just make sure you feel you're cool. Two egos bashing together ain't a pretty sight. Yeah, yeah, I hear. Just get cut off, you know? Just make sure next time you're not fighting fire with fire. Water simmers fire. Come on back and we'll work it out. Figure out where we want to go next. Alright, cool. Check in a bit. Good. Yo. I'll see you when you get back. snack bar chock full of good things to eat and drink. Tasty, tempting hot dogs, thirst-quenching soft drinks, fresh, crunchy popcorn. You've plenty of time, so visit the snack bar now.
Ladies! Don't worry, I'll get you out of this situation. Come on, look just like Miss Sinclair. So, are you pleased, Alola, to let opportunity slip you by? 
Opportunities always come and go. I think I'm uncertain about your love. I'm not quite convinced anymore that you have what it takes to be... evil. And how are you so sure that we are so different from the benefits? How are you so convinced that we cannot coincide with them? Look at you! Talking of what? Peace? Absurd. <laughs> Alala, I think the warrior in you has run dry. Of all those battles made you soft, perhaps a little sentimental? Hmm? And what do you know about a warrior's ethics? Yesterday, I saw one who was prepared to fight to the end for his purpose. Different as they might be, they stand strongly by their values. And how different is that from us? Do not preach to me, Alala! You have forgotten your place! Without me, you would be nothing. Without me, you would have no guidance, no direction, no vision! Difference between the Malefics and the Benefics has stood since the beginning of time. Harmony with them is an impossible ideal. It is of the very nature and fatalism that we are always to be at odds with them. And it is because of me, and only me, that we are together in a united vision. And I'm sorry to inform you, but your license for evil will be under suspension until you can prove your loyalty once again. Hand it over. Do not disappoint me again, Alala. One day you will have a chance to redeem yourself. <laughs> Only your brother Mars can see you now. Oh, how he'd be proud. <laughs> The soft be like a mirror piece, now reflecting everything, holding nothing. Empty your mind, like a mind The softest thing cannot be snapped. Free from the consciousness of self. Make your mind like water. Be fluid and empty-minded. The mind is free. Be like a mirror, reflecting empty everything, holding like a mind like babe. Free from the consciousness of self. Like a mind like babe. Free that's right, flow. Becoming yang when I become yin. Yin when I become yang. Push when pull, pull when push. You and I are but one entity. The dance of combat. Feel relation. <laughs> Mr. Senator, Mr. Senator, Mr. Senator, a pleasure to meet you. We want to ask your opinion on the revoking of Alala's license of evil. Mr. Pluto, Mr. Pluto, a pleasure to meet you. So tell us, how long have you been practicing evil for? For 13 years, I've built my empire on evil. Mr. Pluto, what exactly do you have under that trench coat? How do you feel being captured by the Malefics? I have no comment. Get that camera out of my face. Well, Mr. Venus, isn't it uncomfortable being captured by a group of gods who are predominantly male? I said, I have no fucking comment. Get that camera out of your face! Now, if Apollo only takes the bait to come for his precious meat.
Venus. He'll be walking into his very demise. His very doom. <laughs> we'll drink his blood. And dance upon his grave. Yeah, guys, hey, did you check out the latest edition of Play Ninja? Uh, <laughs> did you see the shirkins on that, girl? Oh, 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 what do you want? What are you doing here? <laughs> You're a fool to come by yourself! Open your minds. Open your butts and hands. So we got quite a matchup in the, in the jungle since uh, the American Samurai. It's the matchup of the century. They're uh, squaring each other down. Oh, pointing. Oh, pointing. Oh my Looks god. Like they're gonna get in the series. Here they go. Off the turnbuckles. There they are. They're in the ring. Looks like they're about to get some serious action. Oh, American Samurai Gigas in the giant. Some fluids. Where's my right oh, oh, oh. right back. Looks like all American Samurai has got some damage. Oh, he's mad now. Oh, 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 man, I'd be trembling in my boots. Oh, 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 my God, he's, he's in trouble. But wait, he's though. Seems to have a plan. He's got a foreign object. He's got a foreign object. My God. It's illegal. It's very, Where's very the illegal. Where is, the Where is the ref? That's what we do. <laughs> So why wasn't I invited to this party? Mars, what are you doing here? It's not for me. Or him. It's for Venus. Are you sure that was Venus? If only you felt the heat of her passion. Kiss me, bitch. Okay, well I'll join the party. Okay, everyone, gather around. Well, it's a good thing Jim the Giant has a bit of a heart. Change mine! Oh, yeah. wait! 
The American camera, I need to bring it. Oh! Bring it, awesome. Oh, four objects! Four objects, yeah, right in the belly. That was the kisser. Oh, the kisser's the kisser. I'm gonna think you kissed her. Four objects, right in the face. Oh. What we need is actually the midgets. Where, where are the midgets? Yeah, the midgets are like much more. Safe, much safer. Much safer. Much safer, they're smaller. They never bring in foreign objects. It's always the big guys. You know, they're much more. Big guys seem scared always. Yeah, not not that sensitive. Yeah. But major wrestling is on in the next 20 minutes or so. Yeah. We gotta break this guy coming up. Mickey Mouse. Where's this? We need a midget. Now, what is that from the guy in his back? Use your key. The key in your hara is the same energy that moves the planets. Luna. You have come at last. I've harmonized the music of the spheres. Yes, but you have one thing to learn. Check it out. Yo, yo, yo. The way you astrology is relation to mythology, balance and forces. Use your key. The key in your hara is the same energy that moves the planets. The softest thing cannot be seen. Be like a mirror, reflecting everything, holding nothing. Eggs in the ground, like a You've been on quite a journey, my son. It's time for you to go home to your world. Thank you, Jupiter. Indeed, I have learned a lot. By the way, how are you getting home? No worries. I've got that all covered. Watch. Great advice you've been giving me lately. I mean, 
you were right. I, I really was just causing all my own problems. So I broke up with Bruno. I hope I didn't catch you at that time. No, certainly. Stay a while. Some wine? A Sinclair? Why, yes. Yes, indeed. You know what I like about you, Mr. Swallows? You're so easy to talk to. I mean, you're a real man. When I've decided in my life, Ha, 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 ha.